Hey everybody, just getting the last stuff set up. Uh, you know the dealio though. Let me know how I sound. Does it sound good? Uh, yeah, so let me know. Oh shoot, I almost forgot to get the, I have to get the giveaway set up too. Okay, I'll be on in just a minute because I totally forgot about the giveaway. Uh, be on ASAP. Uh, just gotta get Jimbo set up and get the giveaway set up and then we'll be live. Okay, I just uh, made the giveaway and posted it in the chat and in the description. So if you want to enter the giveaway, um, go ahead and enter it. We're going to be giving away a Jimbo pin at the end of this live stream. 
uh, yeah, and again, let me know how I sound and everything like that. I'm gonna go grab a water, get Jimbo set up, and we'll be live. Okay, be on soon. Hello everybody, welcome to the stream. I think you can hear me, I think you can see me. Let me know in the chat, I can see the chat now. So sorry I was running late today. I guess I'm not running that late. Lighting's a little weird, look how dark I am. Like right here, it's like, oh, and then it's like, oh, it's light and dark, anyhow. Oh no, Jimbo, don't leave your spot. Don't leave your spot. Well, whatever. Okay. Well, hi everybody. Welcome to the stream. Today, we've got a very special Mother's Day themed live stream for you. Today, we're going to be crocheting a flower for my mom for Mother's Day because I love my mom and I wanted to make her a flower. Uh, I put the vote up for what kind of flower I should be making earlier this week and everybody, well, it was a pretty even vote all around. It was like 2% won, uh, or 2%, it, the, the, the winning flower was only by like 2% of the, of the vote, which was pretty cool. Um, yeah, it was cool to see like everybody was excited about a bunch of different ones, but the winning vote for today's live stream is a daffodil. Now, I was like, I was like, ah, let's toss daffodil up here and let's see if like, I don't think anybody, I thought everybody's gonna vote pansy, but no one voted pansy. Well, some people did, but most people voted daffodil and I was like, oh, okay, daffodil. All right, so now we gotta figure out how to make a daffodil. So 
We're gonna be figuring it out live on stream today and writing the pattern live on the stream. And then after this live stream, I'm gonna put the pattern up on the website as like a pattern test, basically. So we can test it out, make sure it's working right. And then I'll do a full secondary video tutorial, I think for it, like maybe next week. Um, I gotta do the same thing for the tulip that we did a few months ago. So yeah, just adding a new flower to the library. That's basically the gist. Now before I get going, um, oh yes, even before that, Cooper, yes, I would love it if you could help me write this pattern down uh, as I go. That would be super helpful. I've got an idea on how it'll work. Uh, hopefully it works out, but we're gonna see. You guys are here with me and you'll help me figure it out. Um, before I get going, uh, 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 oh yes, before I get going, it is the very last chance that you're going to get to get a discount and do the pre-order for the seasonal crochet kit. So these are our new, brand new seasonal crochet kits that are out, oh, let's put it on the light side, out right now uh, for pre-order. Um, it goes live next week. They just got to uh, the shipment uh, center. So we're gonna be shipping them out next week. But if you want to order these now, they're available for a special discount. So if you wanna get the discount on the seasonal kit, check out the link in the description. Uh, it's basically now or never. Um, we're gonna be obviously doing another seasonal kit in the next season, that being summer. Um, so if you want to wait, you totally can for the next one, but this one's going to be really cool and we're going to be doing live stream crochet along starting next week for this kit. So get it now while you can, um, and use the code hooked, H O O K E D at checkout and you'll get free shipping on it. So there you go. That's my last, uh, last little plea there for the seasonal kits. Um, get an annual pass, blah, 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 all that stuff. All right, let's move on. Oh, by the way. This is what we're making in the seasonal kit. You can see a bunch of the stuff back there. There's just like whole, like so many different things. All right, let's move on and talk about all the things that we're gonna need, we're gonna be making today. So today, let's get that Jimbo pin out of the way for just a second. So today we're gonna be making a tulip and basically, I mean not a tulip, a daffodil. And basically all you need to do all you need for this pattern is we're going to be using yellow for the flower and green for the stem. You can also use white for the flower because sometimes daffodils have like a center that's yellow and the and the like petals are white. You can do that as well. Um, I have an idea on how to make this without any sewing whatsoever, just like how we did on the sunflower. Um, so I think it'll work, but I honestly have no idea. I've never made a daffodil before. so. You're in for the ride, just like I am. <laughs> I'm very excited to get your advice as we go, by the way. So make sure to let me know in the comments if you guys have any feedback, basically, as we're going. Like, this is your chance to give me feedback as we crochet. Um, so you'll need two different colors. I'm gonna be using worsted weight cotton in this video because, you know me, that's my favorite kind of yarn to use for my crochet. Uh, so we're gonna be using worsted weight cotton in green and our flower color, which is gonna be yellow. Uh, you will need a uh, crochet hook, of course, we're going to be using a size G four millimeter crochet hook to make it work with the yarn. We'll need a darning needle. We probably won't need this too much, but a crimped end darning needle like this is going to be helpful for getting in and out of hard to reach stitches. I'm not sure how much sewing is going to actually be done in this uh, pattern, but it might. We might need to sew some stuff together. The big one that you might not have at hand is strong wire. You're gonna need about nine inches of strong wire. Now this one actually is not probably as strong as I really want it to be. I have some like additional strong wire somewhere that is already cut. Let me, let's see, where did I put it? Well, oh! Uh-oh, uh-oh, I unplugged the power. Uh-oh. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Okay, it looks like everything came back pretty fine. That was sketchy though for a second. Uh-oh, now the camera's being all weird. Hold on. camera's still being weird. One sec. Sorry, I hit the power. 
and it messed with the camera. There we go. Okay, I think we're good. All right. Let me let me know if that fixed. It, I hit the power cord and it totally messed everything up. But I think I fixed it. Let me know how I sound. The sound I, is the thing I'm most worried about right now. But I think everything worked out. Yeah, the burbs are trying to hijack the stream. Absolutely. Okay, so that's all the materials that you're going to need for this video. Um, yeah. Now, before we get going, a few ways you can support this channel if you're interested in supporting. The first way is by liking this video down below and subscribing. If this video gets 200 likes, we're upping it from the last live stream. This video gets 200 likes, we're gonna do another giveaway next live stream because this live stream, for getting a 150 likes on the last live stream, we're doing a giveaway for a Jimbo pin. These are our brand new adorable pins. Look how cute they are. God, it's so cute. It looks just like them too. Look at look at that little fuzzy boy. All right, anyhow, we're giving away a Jimbo pin. If you want to try to win this Jimbo pin, um, there is a giveaway link in the description and it's currently pinned on the chat. You can enter there. All I'm basically asking is what your name is, what your favorite flower is, and uh, where to ship this basically. Um, it's just to see who the winner is. There's no anything, any weird thing after that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and announce the winner at the end of this live stream. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's basically the gist. If you want to enter to win a Jimbo pin, enter in the description. Okay. If you also want to support this channel monetarily, um, Ooh, ooh, well, really quick, before we get to the monetarily stuff, Sarah asks, could you use pipe cleaner instead of the wire? You might be able to use two or three pipe cleaners wound together um, because you're gonna need it to be a little bit stronger than just a pipe cleaner. Like, a pipe cleaner alone is just gonna probably, like, bend down, whereas a, a uh, like, three pipe cleaners wound together might work. Um, yeah, uh, we can talk about that a little bit later when we get to that part, though, if you want um, some extra help with there. Um, Susan Chang, uh, can the seasonal kit ship to other countries? Yes, it can. Um, I think you emailed me this week, and I, I meant to get back to you this morning, but I totally messed up. Uh, seasonal crochet kits can be shipped anywhere in the world, so if you want to get a seasonal kit, you can. They get shipped everywhere. Um, ba 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 uh, Becky, uh, Becky wants to know if they should make the sunflower in this video. You absolutely can make the sunflower in this video, but we're also doing a live stream crochet along for the sunflower next week. Um, same time, same place. So if you want to save it for next week, that also wouldn't be a bad idea. Honestly, either way, you can make two sunflowers. Make one this week and make one next week. Okay. Um, yes, you could, tr you could try stuffing it with a pencil as well. Uh, half a dozen reasons. Good question. Okay. The uh, other stuff I want to say, if you want to help support this channel monetarily, there's a few ways to do so. The easiest, best way to support monetarily is with the Club Crochet membership. Memberships get you access to the full library of tutorials. I add new ones in every single month. Um, I try to add them every week or two weeks. This month, I'm kind of going crazy. There's like probably six, five or six new patterns this month on the in the library. It's kind of crazy. Membership start at only $5 a month. You can even try a free trial, see if it's something you're interested in. If it's not, you can cancel it at any time. You can learn more by just going to clubcrochet.com or using the link in the description. It's definitely the best way to support this channel. If you also want to support this channel monetarily, like I said in the beginning, get a seasonal kit. It is your last chance to get the seasonal kit for a discounted rate for season one's uh, seasonal kit. Um, I'm gonna do pre-orders for season two uh, in near like the end of June. So uh, yeah, normally it's gonna be like the like a month or two weeks before the um, the season starts. We're gonna be doing pre-orders for the next season. So this is gonna be your last chance to get the seasonal kit uh, at discounted rate. So I definitely suggest you check those out. Links in the description. The last way to support monetarily is uh, you can purchase kits and merch and stuff in the store, but. You can also tip. If you really like what's going on here and you wanna help support this channel, you can tip. And today's tips, all the tips from today are gonna to be going towards uh, taking my mom out on like a mama's day date thing, like mother's day thing. So if you want to help support this channel, but also 
uh, help me take my mom out to a really nice dinner, the more tips, the fancier the dinner. And uh, if you like me, then you would also probably like my mom. So yeah, you should tip. Uh, <laughs> I just thought that would be kind of a fun little thing. Okay, I think that's about everything. Jimbo, do we have anything else? I guess not. Um, oh yes, that I, I forgot to say. If you do tip, we'll add something to the background. And looks like we are already got one. Cooper, thank you for the $15. That is enough for, at the very least, one of our meals for a not so fancy place, but not a not so fancy place. I super appreciate you, Cooper. Let's add something to the background for you. Um, I think I need to fix the kick cam real quick because it is really dark. Let's try this. There we go. Wait. Yeah, we'll go like we'll go like that. Okay. So every time someone tips, I add something to the background here. Um, if you tip for ten dollars or uh, ten to twenty-five dollars, we add you to the tree here. That is not a tree yet because I'm still waiting on my dad to finish up the tree. Hey, dad, if you're watching this, finish up the tree. We're waiting for you. Come on. Um, if you tip for 25 or more, I'm going to add you to the scene down here. Currently, the scene is pretty much just uh, all the things that we've been making this year. So I've just been adding the stuff we've been making this year and all the seasonal kits here because we haven't been really getting much to add to the scene. So if you want to add yours to that, go for it. And then if you tip for a crazy $50 or more, we'll add you to the cubes of glory. And you will be it forever in the glory of the cubes. Okay, but Cooper, thank you for your support. I actually found a few bonimals that I wanted to add, but um, I was actually thinking instead of bonimals today, uh, because Legend of Zelda is just about out, and I know Cooper is a big fan of Zelda as well, I'm gonna be adding something weird to the background for you. Uh, here, I need to show you on camera. We're gonna add, I'm gonna add Ganondorf to the background for you. This is my little finger puppet Ganondorf that I made. And I just think it's the cutest thing ever. And Zelda is just about to come out tomorrow. So I thought I'll add this to the background because I think he can go on a branch because of the little finger puppet edition. If it doesn't work out on the branch, I'll put it somewhere else for you, Cooper. But yeah, thanks for your support. And we're gonna add Ganon to the background for you. Um, here, I'll show you where I'm gonna add it. I'm gonna put Ganon. I actually think I'm just gonna put Ganon down here for right now hiding in the background, waiting in the shadows for the perfect moment to strike. Okay, I am so, super excited for that as well, for the new Zelda. Uh, I'm a little afraid because I want to play it so, so much. All right, so we're crocheting a tulip today. Let's get our stage ready here. And we're going to start by making the flower itself. Now, I've got an idea because I was like, okay, they want a daffodil. How are we going to do a daffodil? I put that up there as like a, ah, no one's going to vote daffodil. But people did. So we're going to try to figure this out. Now I have an idea on how to make this with the limited, the most limited amount of sewing as possible. I thought about it a lot in the, in the shower actually this morning. I was like, okay, we're going to make a daffodil. How are we going to do this? Samantha, I'm so sorry. I forgot to respond to your email again. I'm so sorry. Um, I'll, I'll try to get to you uh, today or this weekend. I'm, I'm sorry about that. Okay, so here's my idea. I'm gonna start by single crocheting six times into the magic loop. We're gonna start by making like the flower and then we're gonna attach the stem to the flower and then just stop, start working off of this. Four, five, and six. So we're gonna start pretty normal, six single crochets into the magic loop. Is this lighting, by the way, is this too bright? It looks like really bright. Like it's gonna be hard to see what I'm doing. So maybe I'll just lower it just a little bit to make it a little easier. And maybe we'll zoom in just a little bit as well. And we'll zoom out later on when we get a little further on. Um, okay, and by the way, I am looking at the chat. If you got any questions as we go here, just let me know. Um, okay, yes, it's Ganon and his army of Bonimals. That's funny. Okay, so we're gonna single crochet six times into the magic loop. Now next time, next stitch, we're gonna be working into the back loops only. Um, do I wanna slip stitch and then start it? Nah, we're just gonna start going to the back loops only. Okay, so I'm gonna be doing a single crochet into the first back loop and then increase into the second back loop and repeating that three times to go up from six stitches to 
um, nine stitches around. So I'm working only into this back loop, not under, not under both loops. Ah, it's not focusing. There we go. Not under both loops like this, but under only the back loop. Okay, wait, hold on. We need to get this focus under control. There we go. Okay, so we're going to only work into those back loops, and I'm going to try doing a single crochet into the first one and then an increase into the next one right here um, yeah so one single crochet one increase and then we're going to repeat that again three times total to go up to nine stitches so another single crochet and then another increase um, knife or what did someone say pencil grip or spoon grip or actually someone said knife grip I call this a spoon grip and grip instead of the knife grip I use the spoon grip because the pencil grip is like basically impossible for me to make any amigurumi with so I am NOT a big fan of the pencil grip um, I get how it could be worked for like making things really quickly but it's so hard to crochet with amigurumi with this and to make like bobble stitches and stuff with this grip is like practically impossible in my opinion uh, so yeah, I'm much more of a spoon grip fan. Okay, so those unused front loops only right here that we didn't work into, those are gonna be used for attaching the green yarn so when we start our stem, we have something to work off of so we don't have to sew anything together. That's the plan there. All right, so now we're on to our next round. The next round we're gonna do is we're gonna work into the back loops only yet again. And now we're gonna start making the we're actually gonna start making the like trumpet thing. I don't really know what to call it. Like the center of the tulip. We're gonna start doing that now. So we're gonna work into the back loops only yet again. So we're not working under both loops like that. We're only working under the back loop like this because we're gonna use those front loops in a second to add petals to in, the, uh, in a little bit. So we're gonna start by working into the front loop only right there and we're gonna start making our like trumpet center. So in this next round, we're gonna increase up, let's increase up to, let's see, do we wanna increase up to 12 and then go out? Yeah, we're gonna increase up to 12 stitches around now, I think. You know what, let me look up a picture of a tulip really quick, just to make sure we're, I'm, I'm making this look right, tulip. I think this will work though. Oh, not a tulip. Gosh, I keep saying tulip. Daffodil. Daffodil. <laughs> How long is the live stream tonight? I don't know, as long as I need, basically. Um, Probably like three hours. Yeah, most likely. Um, 12 and then we'll go up. Yeah, you know what, let's just go up to 12. Okay, so we're going to increase up to 12 in this round. We're gonna do a single crochet into the first two stitches. Don't forget we're working in the back loop only there. So we got one, two single crochets into the first two, and then to the third right here, we're going to do an increase. Three and four like that. Two single crochets and then one increase repeated uh, three times total. So let's do our second repeat. Two single crochets into the back loops. One, two, and then an increase. One, two, and then one more of those repeats. Two single crochets. One, oops. I should really be using club crochet yarn for this because it's a lot easier to not split my yarn, but I'm using my leftover yellow yarn instead. Oh well. Okay, so see, here we go. Now we've got like kind of like a weird little pyramid pointy thing going on here, but that's totally what we want. So what I'm gonna try to do now is we're gonna make like the center of the tulip here. We're gonna make this go out and then we're gonna do like some frills on the end. And then we're gonna cut, come back and work into these back these front loops only that we didn't work into in our last round to add the leaves and then we're going to come back again and add the stem to the very bottom here that's the plan 
Uh, am I tired tonight? I'm actually not that tired. I had a big old coffee. I learned my lesson from last time. So I'm actually doing pretty good. Um, Mango, hello Mango, how are you? Oh, thanks Nine Spicy Skittles. Thank you for letting me know that. Yeah, if you like these design alongs, um, go ahead and like down below and like let me know in the comments and stuff. Those are how I gauge like what to continue doing. So comments like that, Nine Spicy Skittles, are really useful for me knowing what to continually do. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna do probably like one, two, three, maybe like four. Four rounds. Yeah, we're gonna do probably four rounds of just single crochets into both loops now of the stitches around. We're gonna start making the height of the um, the daffodils like trumpet. I don't really know. Again, I don't know what that part of the daffodils called. We should look up something about daffodil anatomy. I'm sure the outside parts are called petals. And this is maybe just called like the daffodil center. I don't know. We're just gonna, I'm gonna try to do like four rounds here. Um, and yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions or you just wanna talk about anything in the chat while we're doing this. Um, Dinky Crafts Jennifer, <laughs> I like that name. We can, oh, thank you. Oh, you're off to bed. Well, good night, Jennifer. Hope you enjoy that. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this pattern this week. Uh, I'll try to get it onto the website tonight. As at the very least, as like a a temporary or like a uh, what's it called, a testing pattern. Um, can Jack come out at the end? Sure, I'll bring Jack Gurgle out near the end. Uh, someone remind me that later though, because I will inevitably forget. Next week we should do a mosaic crochet project. Well, that would be really cool. Um. We're not going to be doing that, though, but that would be cool. I'll try to set that up sometime in the future. Because um, next week, we're going to be starting our uh, live crochet alongs for the photosynthesis kit. I guess we kind of already started that with the um, Planet Earth live stream. But, um, but yeah, next, next week, we're going to be doing our sunflower live crochet along. Um, I actually might do it on the little couch thing, maybe make it a little bit more chill, but I don't know yet. Uh, nine rows, or four rows of nine or twelve? Four rows of twelve, uh, Pokey Lover. Um, yeah, so this should be four rows of twelve, so we're making like that center. I actually think I'm going to end up doing four, because the... Well, we're about to do our third round. We might end up doing five rounds of this. Um, can we get the tutorial? We're making it right now, Peachy. This is a live tutorial. So, uh, yeah, we're making it up as we go. Um, if you want the written pattern after the live stream, I'm going to add it to the website uh, with the help of Cooper. Thank you again, Cooper, for your help. Um, so, yeah, if you want this pattern, um, yeah, it'll, it'll be online at clubcrochet.com slash flower. Uh, so if you want to get the pattern, that's where it's going to be there. You can see a link right there or in the description, clubcrochet.com slash flower. That's where I'm going to add this tutorial. So if you want a quick access to it. Okay, I'm going to zoom this out now since we're a little further along. We're almost done with our four rounds now. And we have 12 to work with, so we're going to add... Oh. Reels. Okay, so that was our four rounds. And then if we do the things there, is this long enough for th I think we should do one more. Let's do five rounds. I'm changing it up. We're going from four to five. AJ, thank you for doing that. Actually, Cooper's uh, working on the written pattern as well. So uh, I don't know if you necessarily need to take the time that much to write the pattern down, but you absolutely can as well. I mean, it's not going to hurt. Uh, you can f send it to me via email. I think I really want to work in the future, uh, Cooper. This is a this is to you. I really want your help later, like actively adding this to the website so that, like, I won't forget basically. Um, but I need to get you like set up on the website to do that, and and we'll probably need to do like a call to like figure out how that's gonna work. So I'm still kind of like trying to think how that's gonna work basically. 
Um, okay, so we did five. I, I increased up to five. We've got this little funny little thing going on here. Um, I think this is going to work, though. Five. Is that long enough for a tulip or for a daffodil? Because um, I'm th trying to think, like, if the petals are, like, that long. I feel like the center of the daffodil is, like, really long, though. Okay, we're going up to six. I'm increasing up to six. So, I mean, not increasing. We're, we're doing six rounds. Instead of four or five, we're doing six rounds of single crochets. Just one additional one. What is the cat cam for? The cat cam is for my cat because it's fun to look at him. And yeah, he's actually right on the other side of this. So like I'm pointing at Jimbo right now through the wall. Um, it's not really through a wall. It's just I have a bookshelf here and he's on the other side of the bookshelf. So I just like to set it up there because it's cute. Um, is this pattern going to be free? It is free now. Uh, it probably won't be free later. It'll probably be like a member exclusive pattern uh, as I do a lot of my patterns, but I'm, I'll keep this live stream up forever. So if people want to figure it out through this live stream, they totally can. Okay, so that's six rounds of single crochets. I think that looks pretty good. Yeah, I think that's long enough. Now we're gonna add like our, basically our frills. Now the frills on the inside of the tulip are actually like really pointy. I was gonna do just like, like simple, something simple, but I think I'm gonna try to do like pico, picos and then like slip stitch in each one. So we're gonna figure out how to do that. Um, Hill Simp, we actually already did a tulip. Uh, there is a tulip pattern on the website already. So yeah, I, I think if you go to clubcrochet.com slash flower, it might be there. Uh, if it's not there, I have to add it there later on. So uh, cute kitty, thanks for the cat cam. You're welcome. Um, okay, so uh, one more thing before I get going to the next round here. Uh, Julie, any advice for working with dark yarn? You have an armless red panda. I do have advice for working with dark yarn. Use a lot of light. You cannot crochet with dark yarn in a dark setting. You need like straight up a light on that dark yarn. That's gonna help you out a whole bunch. Um, yeah, that is my strong, strong advice. Also try not to crochet with like a dark background. So like, you know, like if this was dark and I was crocheting with dark yarn, it would make it even more difficult to crochet with the dark yarn because I couldn't even see through like the holes through the stitches to help me know where the stitches are. So yeah, that is the um, suggestion there. Uh, okay, do I have an Instagram? We sure do. All right, so it's at just, there's actually links to the Instagram down in the description, by the way. It's, I think it's just at club crochet official on Instagram. And I also have a personal one at Louis loops on Instagram. All right. So I'm going to be making the points at the end of our daffodil our daff. Yeah. Daffodil. Uh, and I think we're going to do, I think what I'm going to do is chain. Let's chain one, two, Now let's chain three. Let's try this. We're going to chain three and then slip stitch into the next stitch like that. Oh, uh, that's going to leave too, hole, too much of a hole. Okay, we're going to try doing a pico then. So we're going to slip stitch three. I mean, chain three, one, two, three. And then we're going to slip stitch to the first of those three chains that we made. So we're going to go one, two, and I'm going to work into the back loop of that third chain from the hook right here. Now I'll zoom in after this uh, for the next one to show you how to do that. But yeah, chain three, slip stitch into the first chain made and then slip stitch into the next stitch on the body. So that's going to create these little points at the end. See, so, yeah, and we're, if we do that all the way around, we'll create like these little frills on the end of our flower. Okay. So let's zoom this in and we're going to try that again a little bit closer so if you are crocheting this on your own you know what I'm doing so we're chaining three one two three we're gonna skip those first two and slip stitch into that back loop of that third or that first chain that we made like right here it's kind of hard to get into that back loop you don't really need to work into the back loop you probably can manage without working to that back loop but I like it worked into the back loops like that and then we'll just slip stitch into the next stitch right there. 
and we'll just keep doing that around. So let's see how that's going to kind of look. Yeah, that'll be kind of nice, right? Little do 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 all the way around. I think that'll look pretty good. Okay, cool. Let's keep doing that all the way around. I'll zoom out a little bit. And uh, I actually think I'm going to turn back on the autofocus at this point. Um, Croshandro, did I see your email? I probably, I, you know what? I did see your email, but I just didn't respond. And I'm sorry about that. I've been really bad about emails this week. Um, it has been a crazy busy week. I've actually already edited three new patterns <laughs> this week. The videos for them, three of them. It, so it has just been a long week of just editing, editing, editing. And I still have like four to do before Monday um, because we got some pretty big tutorials coming next week. Pretty big tutorials. Okay. So let's just in that back loop of that first chain. Did I do that right? That looks weird to me. You know, let me try that one again. One, two. Did I do? Oh, I guess I did do it right. It just looked so weird to me. I'll try that again. Uh, Dandy Dippity, thank you so much. Yeah, I I do have to say, like, this is one of my favorite things to do is, like, trying to make a pattern live on live stream. It's, like, an extra challenge. And sometimes that's really, really fun for my crochet. Sometimes I like to, like, figure out patterns on my own, like, in front of the TV so I don't, I'm not, like, under pressure for it. But every single time I've made a flower, I've designed a flower on a live stream, it, they come out to be like one of the coolest things I've ever made. And I use like such weird techniques that I, I never use normally. So I don't know. I just have a lot of fun with this. Um, okay, so what I'm gonna do here, by the way, is this is our tail end from the very beginning. I'm gonna use this as like stamens on the inside. So that way we have like, you know, like, what I, I think that's what they're called is like little stamens on the inside of a flower so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna make a little knot at the end of this um, just big and like just far enough so that it's still on the inside of our piece so I'm gonna kind of like push it down like that see so just like that just a little knot on the end and then we'll cut it close and I'll use my other tail ends from the later on when I make the petals we're gonna use the tail ends from those to add two more of these on the inside so that way it has like a couple of little things on the inside so it kind of looks more like a flower okay so we've only got three of our little edge I don't know frills I don't really know what to call this one two and three and then back loop only of that first chain made slip stitch one all the way around Oops, I'm here sometime in the future I do want to do like a design along pattern and then after the live stream like maybe take like a second of a break and then come back and do a like a, a live stream like production of a pattern so you can see like all the process that I put into turning a pattern from like a rough draft to a final draft turning it into a PDF, getting the photo tutorials. I think it might be really fun to do that on a live, like to actually show you how to do it live. Um, but I don't really know how to exactly get that set up just yet. So that's probably gonna be something for the distant future. I'm kind of thinking, so I'm, I'm right now I'm thinking about doing like a new tier on the website. Like there's the pattern membership tier that gives you access to all the patterns. But then I'm trying to think about like I'm trying to set up a a um, like a designer membership tier, which will give you like access to extra tutorials. Um, I'm we're building like a a thing on the website so you can like build your own patterns using the patterns on the website. So you could say like I want the body of a hobgoblin and the legs of a yeti and the eyes of a T Rex or whatever, and then you can like build it yourself. So it'll, it'll have access to those. But in addition to that, I think it'd be kind of fun to do design along live streams where they're exclusive for people of that membership tier. I don't know though. I'm still kind of like thinking it through. It's like a stretch goal for the year. Um, okay. If 
But yeah, let me know what you think about that in the comments, because uh, I think it'd be really cool. This looks pretty good so far, right? That looks like starting to become a, you can see how that'd be like the center of our daffodil. And then when we do our little leaves there, I think this will work. Am I planning on doing a pattern for Jack? Yes, I am, Susan. I definitely am. Uh, I just don't know when, honestly. It, there's just like so many other patterns that I want to do. And yeah, I, I do want to do a pattern for Jack though. Absolutely. I actually want to do one of my seasonal crochet kits. I want to do puppets. So you make like your own puppet and like maybe other little miniature puppets too or something. I don't know. But I was thinking about that for next year's uh, kits because I already have this year's kits all planned out. And I want to do, I don't know. I don't know. I want to do a million things. Chain three, slip stitch in that back loop, that. And then slip stitch in the next stitch right here. Okay, we got one more of these. That's looking pretty good though. Yeah, I think that really does, that is definitely starting to look like a daffodil. I like how it goes out because I was going to do increases here at the top to make it go like out a little bit, but it kind of did that on its own there. So it kind of works out in our favor. One, two, three. Oh, by the way, speaking of the sunflower pattern, um, it is, uh, I just updated that pattern on the website. So if you want to check out the newly updated sunflower pattern, it's out now on the site. You can actually just find it by going to clubcrochet.com slash sunflower. And uh, yeah, you can get there. Okay, so I slip stitched into that last stitch as part of our repeat, and then I cut the yarn, and we're just gonna pull it all the way through. And I'm actually just gonna hide this end in to finish up this part of the flower. So I would call this like the flower center. And, and then we're gonna build off of the flower center to make the, the next parts. Let's see, do we wanna do like a fancy thing around or I think I just wanna hide this right in like that so that it's most, yeah, let's do that. And then I'll just hide this end in into the backs of a few stitches on, on the inside here. I'm gonna go pretty far down. That's pretty good. See, so I'm like down a pretty good amount of stitches. I'm just gonna pull that through like that. Cool, and then we can just cut this yarn nice and close on the inside. We don't need to use this for one of our little stamens. I think we can do it without that. Um, okay. That looks, actually, that looks pretty, pretty good. You know what I'm gonna try to do in here? I don't know if this is gonna work, but I'm gonna try to take a picture with my camera so that we have a picture of this. That, the camera that I'm currently using. I don't know if that's gonna work, but it's worth a shot. Also, we wanna get the stamen out a little bit more. Let's see if this works. Hopefully it doesn't mess the live stream up. Okay, let me get things out of the way. That way we can use this in the pattern. There's one. Oh, cool, it actually like did it as like a picture on the screen, that's kind of fun. You can kind of see how I do my patterns then too. Normally I do the pictures afterwards or during like the actual written pattern, but this will save us a little bit of time later on. Here, we'll do one more. Actually, we'll do two more. We want one like this. And then we want one directly from the inside like this. That was a little blurry, but that's fine. Okay. Now, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add our petals on the outside. Now there's six petals to work with. And here's my idea. I'm basically gonna do this like I did my sunflower. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our yarn, our yellow yarn still, um, unless you wanna add white petals, which we could do white petals instead because daffodils come in both types, but we're just going to keep it the same color just to, just for our first try here. We're going to do a slip knot in our yellow yarn. 
Um, you don't really need that long of a tail. I'm just going to use this tail for making our stamen at the end, but you don't really need that long. That's probably more than enough. And we're going to find the back loops only from round uh, two. I'm sorry, the front loops only from round two. Let me zoom in here to show you. So, yeah, cool behind the scenes stuff. Exactly, yeah. Um, oh, Dandy Dippity asks, when do the boxes start shipping? I know the pre-order is coming an end to the soon. Sorry if it's already been asked. No, it hasn't already been asked. Uh, no worries, Dandy. And you never really need to apologize for asking questions. That's totally fine. Um, the kits should be shipped out next week. Um, we're trying to get them out by Monday, but they might not be out till like Wednesday. So they'll be out very, very, very soon though. Um, okay, so if you look at the back loops of round two here, I mean the unused front loops, so that's going to be right here. These are going to be the unused front loops only from round two. One, two, three, four, five, six. There should be 12. These are the unused front loops only from round one. We will be using those later for adding the stem, but for right now, we just need the back loops only from round uh, two. I mean, the front loops only from round two. Jeez, I keep saying that wrong. So front loops only from round two is what we're going to be using right now. We're gonna find the first one that we use that we made right here. Get our crochet hook under that first front loop only. Grab our yellow yarn with a slip knot on it. And we're going to put that on our crochet hook, tighten it a little bit, and I'm just gonna pull it straight through like that. And now we're gonna create the chains. We're gonna be basically making petal chains. That's what I call it in the sunflower pattern. We're basically gonna chain as long as we want the petals to be. And I think the petals, we should probably make them about that long. So that's, I don't know how many chains, we're gonna figure that out, but about like one, maybe two inches long. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's see how 10 looks. 10's pretty good. Yeah, I think 10 will work. Um, well, hold on, let me just think just for a second. Let us um, let me draw something real quick. So I can get like a general idea because if it's about like that long and I have a, where's my pen? There it is. So if it's like this long and we want the pedal to be like, kind of like this, right? So if we want the petals to be like this, we definitely want to point at the end. So we're gonna to have to do like, maybe like a half double and then a double and then maybe one triple and then a double, double, half, half, single slip. That might work. So that was, how many was that? That was, that was half double, double, wait, H du double, triple, double, double, half, double, half, double, single slip. I think that's what the chain's gonna be. So that's gonna be one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, perfect, 10 is perfect. Oh, look at that, that's perfect. Okay. Oh, you're right, there is nine. You're right, there should be nine. Okay, wait, so then now we need to think even more because there's supposed to be 12 because I messed that up. Because we only have nine to work with. Dang, how did I mess that up? One, two, three. Dang, I should have used that from the up here then. Hmm, I think we're gonna have to redo something, guys. Because you're totally right, Mango Juice. Because we need to make six petals. I think we might need to start this over. Not fully, but just like. You know, let's um. Yeah, I think we need to start the center part over. Just because we need to make six petals on the outside here. Let's try just one real quick and see how that goes. So we have 10 to work with 
and we're gonna slip stitch all the way down. And then we'll slip stitch into that one, slip stitch one. I guess we can still do six petals, but it just might look kind of weird. If we want to make six, we go one petal there, two, skip, one, two, skip, one, two, skip. That might make them like two put together a little too much though. Mm. Yeah. So what I'm basically thinking I should have done is I should have increased all the way up to 12 in this round. All right, good night. Good night, Christine. Thanks for joining. Uh, Haley, yes, we will be posting this stream afterwards. I think. Okay, let's just try. Let's just try one. Let's just let's just try this simple, and then I think I'm probably gonna come back. So I slip stitch ten or change ten, and then I'm gonna skip the first chain and slip stitch all the way down. Uh, there should be nine slip stitches to work into here as we work down. But yeah, I, I have a feeling I'm gonna have to remake this uh, trumpet center thingy that I don't know what to call because we do want six of these petals and I just feel like I goofed it up. And I think it'd be a better pattern if I just increased up to 12 instead of like trying to fix it here, you know? Um, and then I'm gonna slip stitch into the bottom one there like that. Uh, that'll be like one of the petals chains and then I'll work all of our petals around that That's the idea. Well, we can try it. Okay, so we're gonna do one petal chain in the first uh, I slip stitched so I so I chained ten I slip stitched all the way down One two three four five six seven eight nine slip stitches down and then I did one more chain or slip stitch into the chain or into the back loop that we worked into originally to connect it and then we're going to slip stitch into the next back loop right here and do this again yeah we'll do this again and eh, this might work we might maybe be able to make this work okay so we're gonna try that again 10 chain 10 I'm just afraid these are gonna be way too close to each other one two three four five six seven eight, nine, 10, and then slip stitch all the way back down. Let's see how this works. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna wanna redo this though. The other option we could do is we could increase up to 12 now. So it's like that big and then do our petals. But then the petals I think are gonna be way bigger than the trumpet. What does WQOW mean? Hi, by the way. Oh, I'm not sad. I'm just thinking, Sarah. Thank you for worrying though. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sad. I'm just, I'm just like trying to fix a problem basically. Okay, that'll be two pedal chains. And then we'll try doing a slip stitch into the next one and then do two more over there and then do two more back here. This might work, this might work. Okay, so slip stitch into the next. So I did two pedal chains and then a slip stitch. And I'm gonna repeat that um, three times total. So that was our first repeat. This is our second repeat. I slip stitch one into the next stitch. I chain 10 and then I slip stitched back down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Slip stitch back down. Let's hope this works. If not, I'll I'll redo the pedal trumpet. That's not a big deal. And we might actually end up having two daffodils to work with. <laughs> kind of cute. We are bound to goof up somewhere, but it's probably not that bad. Promise I'm not sad. I'm not sad. I promise I'm not sad. I don't get sad very often. I get like, mm, like melancholy, but not really sad that often. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And then we're gonna 
gonna slip stitch into the next stitch here and do another pedal chain. Two, three, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. Slip stitch back down. If this ends up still working out, that's gonna be pretty cool. We will find out though. Dude, I know, right, Peachy? The cat is so freaking cute. How very Victorian of me to be melancholy. <laughs> You're funny, Leslie. All right, slip stitch there, and then slip stitch one into the next stitch right there, and then we continue our repeat. We got one more, one more of those repeats to make two more of these weird pedal chains that look crazy. They look wild on the outside, doesn't it? it? Looks like some kind of like weird alien thing, which flowers often look like to me. Oh my gosh. Okay, wait. Quick, quick Jimbo break. Oh, also Tina, thank you for your tip, Tina. I just saw that. Hold on. Here's a Jimbo cat one. Because, wow. I mean, come on. Come on. So cute. Wow. All right, and then, <laughs> and then for Tina, oh, did camp. For Tina, let's add just a, we're gonna do pom-poms in the background for you. I got a new, another pom-pom for you, Tina. We got our little collection of pom-poms here that are just waiting for a tree dad to put up. So we're adding another pom-pom to your lip. Like, look at, these are almost all Tina. I think someone else did something too once, but a lot of pom-poms accumulating. The idea is once we got enough pom, or once we got a tree, we're gonna add all those pom-poms to the tree. So we got one, two, so, yeah, okay. All right, so back to this. Slip stitch one, chain 10. Okay, slip stitch down. How is Jules today? Jules is doing all right. She's on her way back to San Francisco. Oh, Tina, again, thank you. Tina, we're doubling that up. I'll add you. Two more of your pom pom. Actually, you know what? Let's grab a different color pom pom for you. I got a few colors. They're all greens. Here. I got these super dark green pom poms. So let's add one of those. I bought like all these pom poms. I honestly, I don't know why. I don't know what to use them for just yet. I'm going to use them for something, but we're going to add two more for you there, Tina to the background. Okay. Oh, Leslie, no worries at all. What's your thesis about? Or, or just ignore me and continue writing your thesis. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Sarah, that is that is what that next to Jimbo is a is next month's uh, seasonal kit. I was like, I'm gonna put it here. Uh, the under the sea kit, which I need to start crocheting this week. It's a pom pom party. All right, last pedal chain and then a slip stitch and then we'll work on to the next part. And we might not need to make this again, maybe? Maybe we will, I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then slip stitch down. Two, four. Notice how I'm not working into the back loops as I slip stitch down, by the way. We just wanna work into the chains as normal. 
because we're going to work back into these pedal chains on the way back up. Hey, Ama, welcome. I hope you're having a great day. All right, so now I'm slip stitching to the face here. I'm going to do our last slip stitch into the next stitch right there and then we'll continue on to the next round. Now you should have a bunch of pedal chains like this. Um, also, before I continue on the next round, I'm actually gonna take this tail end from the beginning of that pedal chain round and we're gonna thread it onto our needle and I'm gonna pull it into the body here. So we're gonna go straight in and then out through the center of our little trumpet center like that. And that way we have another one of those stamens to work with, but I'll cut it later. We'll sew it and cut it later because I might need it to double knot to this other end. So we're not gonna cut it just yet. All right. So next up, we're gonna be working our petals. Now the petals, let's see, this is what I think I'm gonna do. I First I need to open up the sunflower pattern because I wanna basically work the sunflower pattern It looks like a funky starfish. That's absolutely true. What are we going to do for dinner? That's a great question. I think I'm going to get dinner somewhere else today instead of making... I've made dinner from home for the past, like, like all week. I had, like, tofu and rice and broccoli all week, like a good boy. So I'm going to be a little dirty boy today and eat some garbage. <laughs> no, I'll probably get Indian food. I don't know. Yeah, that was the point. Spicy Skittles, yeah. It's a pom-pom party. Um, okay. So what did I do in the other one? I did pedal chain. Okay, working with pedals, I did a single crochet. Okay, so we're gonna go into this first one here. Let's see, I think what we'll do is we'll slip stitch to the connecting chain or to the connecting spot for the pedal chain and then where we'll chain one and we're going to work up our pedal chain there should be nine stitches to work with if, we, if the last one's right here that'll be one two four five six seven eight and nine will be right there okay so we're going to do half double crochet in the first double crochet in the second Triple crochet, double, double, half, half, single, slip. That's the goal. I don't know if that's gonna work though. I think we're gonna have to do a pedal, like a little thing at the end here, where we do a single crochet, slip, single crochet instead. Half, double, triple, double, double, half, half, single, single, chain, or single, mini pico, single, and then back down. That's what I think we're gonna do. I chained one, let's try it. Half double crochet one. I, this might not be big enough too. We might need to go straight to double and then, tri actually, you know what? I am gonna do that right away. We're gonna do, no, nope, nope, never mind. I take it back again. Half double, <laughs> half double crochet in the first, double crochet in the second right here. Where, where is the second? Right there. Okay, half double, double, triple. Oops. Triple. One, two, three. Okay. And then after that, we're gonna do back down to double. There, Wait, where is the next one? It's always hard to find out where your chain loops are. I think that's the next one. Oh, I kind of messed that up. Whatever. Double, double, so two doubles in a row. And then we'll go half double. Oops. Half double. Is this gonna be big enough for a pedal though? 
that's gonna be like half of a petal, so that's big enough is the question at hand. Yeah, that might be work. Okay, so half double, half double. And then we're gonna do single, Double, half double, half double, single. Oh, I, I kind of miscalculated. Single. So we did half double, 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 or half double, double, triple, half double, double, half double, half double, single, single. And then the last one here. Actually, maybe we can manage to just do a. Now nah, let's do single slip. Single, yeah. So we're gonna do single crochet in the last one right there. Then we're gonna do a mini pico. So we're gonna chain two, work a slip stitch into the back loop of that first chain made. And don't worry, I'll go into a little bit more detail about this in a second too. And then another single crochet in that same stitch like that. Like once I have a, this figured out, I'll, I'll go into a little bit more detail about what I wanna do here. And then we're gonna work back up our pedal. I just feel like this pedal is like way too thin because it's only gonna be like that big. So we might need to update this. So single, we're gonna do single. Okay, so basically I'm working my stitches back down. So we did a little end, now we're doing two single crochets, work back down, half, two half double crochets, working back down one. And I'm working in the same stitches as I did for the for going up the pedal, by the way. Yeah, I feel like that's too skinny and long. But I don't know. Hi, Processo Blackthorn. <laughs> um, next, we're gonna do a double. I think we have two doubles in a row. One and two, and then a triple. One, two. There's one, two. Uh oh, the Jimbo, the Jimbo awakens from his great slumber. I hear him. And a double, and then a half double in the last one right there, and then I'll slip stitch to the same place I did in the beginning to connect the pedal to the center. So, how do we feel about that? I feel personally like that is not what we want. I think what we're gonna wanna do, I mean, it's not bad, right? It's not that bad. I just think we need it to be fatter. So I think we need to do two triples, one less single at the end is my goal. So let's do that in the next flower petal here maybe try out a bigger or maybe we just do the same thing all the way around and see how it looks and if we don't like it then we do another one which we're kind of planning on doing anyhow what do we think yeah let's go ahead we'll just keep doing that uh yeah I'll, I'll do it a little bit different in this next one just to see what happens there oh i'm so sorry i'm so sorry processo blackthorn that's really rough oh it's lil lily is that you or Lizzie? Is that Lizzie? I think that's Lizzie's thumbnail, but I'm not sure. Okay, we're gonna slip stitch into the next base of the next pedal chain. And we're gonna start working our way up it. Oh, first we need to chain one. And then we're going to do half double crochet in our first, right here. And then a double crochet into the next. And remember, we're changing this slightly. We're gonna do a triple crochet into the next. So half double, double, triple. And we're going to do another triple after that. So two triples in a row. We're gonna get a little bit fatter with these leaves, our petals. And then we're gonna go back down. So we're gonna do double, double, half, half, single, and then the end. So double, Double, and then half, 
half. Half. Oh my gosh, Lizzie, it's been so long. I hope you're doing well. Oh, Alma, you just did Crocheting 101 yesterday. Oh my gosh, congratulations. You've started your process of getting absolutely hooked. If you got any questions, Alma, let me know in these live streams. Uh, you can always join in. We do these live streams like weekly. So if you want to jump in next week and like be like, hey, you know, how are you, how are you been doing on it? We will all be curious. Okay, we're gonna do double single. I thought that. <sighs> okay, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I guess it. I, maybe I messed up the first one. I don't know. Single, mini pico. Single. And then doing the same thing back down. So we're going to go half double. I think this will be the pedal. Uh, the way we're going to do pedals though. Half double, half double. And then we go back up, double. We'll see how, we'll see how different this one is. Double. Triple. Triple, two, three, double, half double, and then slip stitch into that same, the base of this, right like that. Okay, I like that more than I like that. That one's like a skinny, weird thing. This one's much more like a tulip petal. So that's our, that's definitely gonna be our process. We'll make sure, we'll just make sure this one's on like the bottom. <laughs> so it's a little hidden. I mean, we're probably gonna redo this anyhow, but that's totally gonna look like a tulip though. I'm like super duper excited about that because that's definitely gonna look tulipy to me. And see, I like the goal here is we want the second one to be over the first one anyhow, so it kind of might work out just the way we want it to, so that they, so that the petals actually overlap each other, which is kind of the goal. Okay, well that's pretty good so far. Um, I don't want this here, so we're gonna go ahead and just stuff this back into there. For now, you're bad with tension, but I'm sure that's everyone's kit. Yeah, absolutely. That is probably the biggest part about crochet that comes with practice. Like you can learn how to do different techniques and stuff by just learning these techniques, but tension, yeah, it's natural. It, you're gonna naturally start to understand the tension as you go. Daffodil, daffodil. Yes, yeah, sorry, AJ, thank you. Um, okay, so next we will, I'm actually gonna skip the slip stitch and then just go straight to the next pedal chain and slip stitch into the base of the next pedal chain. So hopefully that doesn't make things too awkward, but whatever. And we're going to start working up this pedal chain. So we're gonna chain one, half double crochet into the first, double crochet into the next, and then start our process going up. So we're gonna do triple, two triples, one, two, three, another triple here, one, two, three, a double, one, two, another double. So two triples, two doubles, two half doubles, and then the end of it, which is gonna be two single crochets with a mini pico in between. Is this all making sense, by the way? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, two doubles, a half double, or two half doubles, so there's one and two. And then in the last one here, we do a single, a mini pico, And then another single in the same stitch. 
and then we work our stitches back down. So this one should be under the first one like that, kind of, so that they get a little bit layered, just a little bit. It might have been smart to go the other way around. Maybe we'll do that on the next one. So, so that the tops of these petals look like this instead of this. But that also might be for our next daffodil. Look at that, I said daffodil. Tegan! How you doing, Tegan? Hope you're having a great day. What's your, how's your, how have you been in general? And same question to you, Lizzie. How have you been? I hope you've been doing well. It's been a sec. Yeah. But thanks for joining. It le legitimately puts a smile on my face to see both of you here. Okay, so let's go double. Oopsies. I can up it. Double here. Ah, can't get that stitch. There we go. Double. Double. Yeah, this is definitely the pedal pattern. Pedal pattern. Triple. Next. Three. Two triples in a row. Three. And a double. And then a half double and a slip stitch. There's the double. Okay, see you later, Lizzie. Thank you for joining. Tell the family we say hi, and yeah, I hope you hope you're doing better. Thanks for thanks for staying, uh, popping in and saying hello. Okay, now I'm gonna slip stitch into. So where is it? Right here. Yeah, right here. Slip stitch into the base of the petal chain, like that, and then we're going to do our next petal up slip stitch into the base of the next petal chain. Okay, we're gonna chain one and then do the petals up again. How's this looking? One, two, halfway done on the petals. And I mean, this is definitely starting to look daffodilly to me. I hope you guys feel the same. Yeah, I think this is looking pretty good. All right, so we're doing up the chains. We're going half double in the first, double in the second, triple in the third. One, two, Yeah, I've been doing like so many patterns recently because, you know, for the for photosynthesis kit, we're doing a whole bunch of patterns and stuff. And in the process of doing that, like my computer cannot it's it's taking too much memory. <laughs> like my computer's like, hey, um, just so you know, we only have like five gigabytes left of of a, a, a m -m memory. Uh, so if you want to like make room, that would be pretty cool. And I'm like, no, more videos. It's like, oh, okay, yeah, we can do that. <laughs> All right, next pedal here. And then do a single on the end. And then work our stitches back down it. Haha, <laughs> Akari. Akari's like, will you make a freaking snail already? Ooh, you emailed me the pattern. I'll look at it in a sec. I do, I actually have like three external hard drives. I just don't keep them plugged in all the time. But I do have external hard drives. So I need to move all the stuff over. But the problem is like, I need those files on my computer like right now because I'm making so many different like video edits for the videos. 
like like for like the turtle um like the tortoise you know crocheting crocheting a tortoise kind of thing where i did it like cuts together with music in the background i need to do those with those videos which means i need the video content on the computer while i do those before i move it over it doesn't matter the whole dealio is i need to be better about the space on my computer i also just need to delete a bunch of crap there's just so much random nonsense on my computer double and then we'll slip stitch to the base and how many pedal chains we got left two more all right cool these ones go above the pedal or the flower these ones go under not bad my only my only thing is that these pedals might just be a little too long compared to the actual center but I don't know. I haven't seen a daffodil in a while. I don't know. Ah, oh, hey, River. Yeah, computer abuse, absolutely. The cactus competition should be starting on the 15th, but I still need to finish all the cactus patterns, so ASAP. Probably the 15th, though. If I can finish them all this weekend, which has the, been the goal anyhow. All right, we're going to skip that slip stitch in between, and then we're going to just slip stitch right in the center or in the base of our pedal chain, and then chain one and work our pedals up. Wow, right there. Starting with a half double, and then a double. Perfect, okay. Oh, happy almost birthday ivy yeah they they actually um they actually switch off every now and then so sometimes river is using a different account and sometimes a car a car is using river's account it is very confusing though they switch it up out all the time two Many different variations of daffodils and they all look different. Oh, awesome. Cool. It's good to know that I can just say, yeah, this is this kind of daffodil. <laughs> eh, yeah, sure. This is this kind of daffodil. Yeah, why not? This is, oh, this, this is a uh, California daffodil. Ventura County, this is a Ventura County daffodil. They're completely different. The ones up here, they're crocheted. There we go. Double. Ugh. Double. Half double. Half double. And then our end here, we're doing a single. Chain two mini pico in the back loop. Single crochet in the same stitch and then work back down. So we're gonna do half double here. Hey, you know what? We did not need to redo that center, it looks like. These, I think is, this, 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 this. Looks like it's gonna work. Oh my gosh, Tegan, don't, don't, don't give me hope like that. <laughs> You need to, I hope you make stitched, I really do. It's it, it's always like really, really, when someone says they're gonna crochet a set of stitched, I'm always like, really, that's awesome. <laughs> Cause it's like my favorite thing that I crochet. I don't know. And I just know the time commitment that that means to like crochet a whole set for stitch. It's like, okay, I'm gonna be making a lot of amigurumi. Double, let's see what we did. Double, half double, 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 triple. Okay, we're only out one more pedal left. Triple, triple. And then 
we go back down to double. Half double. And then slip stitch into the base chain. Cool. That one above, that one above, below. Oh man, come on, that looks like a daffodil for sure. Especially if these are like in more like that, maybe. Or do or should they be out? I don't know. I don't know. My mom's gonna love this. My mom's gonna love this. Alright. Uh slip stitched in the base, and then I'll slip stitch into the base of the next one and chain one and begin working our way up how are we doing on time by the way oh my gosh we're killing it we're we're doing so good double because after this all we're gonna have to make is the stem and then the leaf and then we might make another flower because i kind of want to try it again triple Triple, but I might also just do that on a lot or like do the pattern triple here. Jeez, kind of messed that one up, but that's all right. It should get hidden later. One, two, three. So half double, double, triple, triple, double. Right here. Come on. Double, half, half, and then single, mini pico single. One, two, and then another single. Cool. All right, now back down. Last pedal, half double, half double. Horror and Exploration says, about to hop off, but just wanted to thank you. Oh, dude, thank you so much. Oh, thank you, Horror. That, make, that means a lot to me. Um, uh, I, I really appreciate it. I hope you do. I hope you have a great art show. Ivy. I think that makes sense. Doing lava run before stitch doesn't isn't the worst idea. Simply, I think like okay, so I'm gonna let you in on some like of my rough plans for the future of club crochet. I I want to start diving into doing my board games a lot more after this first year of of our seasonal kits. I want to start really getting into like the tabletop board games and stuff. So I've been working on a few other ones. Um, one for some uh, octopi and stuff, one for um, burbs, and one for frogs. But before I do that, I need to you know, complete the current board games that I have. So I'm probably gonna be doing Lava Run first as a board game that you could actually buy, um, hopefully next year. Hopefully sooner rather than later next year over like that okay so the last thing i want to do is i'm going to slip stitch into the same i think i'll just slip stitch into the back loop or where i did i like to connect to that first pedal like that is that weird is that connected enough i guess it does like this maybe and then this should be over 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 just like that Yeah, that looks pretty good. This pedal is annoying me because it's our one goof up, but other than that pedal, it's pretty good. All right, we're just gonna cut the yarn now. I'm gonna pull it through. We're gonna thread this on a needle. And then I'm gonna go, come on, there you go. 
I'm gonna go into the same place that I slip stitched that and then into the center right here to come out through the very center of our piece where I can double knot it to the other tail end from the beginning of this, the flower petals right here. And then I can just double knot these two together and create two more stamen using it. So we're just gonna double knot these all the way down to the base. One and two. Where's the other stamen, by the way? I don't wanna accidentally knot that together, which I think I did. Did I? <laughs> I did. Of course I did. One. There we go. All right, now I'm gonna knot these two about the same length as our first stamen. And we're just gonna knot it all the way down, cut it close, and then we'll do the same on this one. Are these called stamens, by the way? I think they're called stamens. I'm not sure. Okay, there we go. Now we got all those little things on the inside too to make it more like a daffodil flower. That looks, honestly guys, if that doesn't deserve a like, come on, are you kidding me? Like, I mean, it's not the perfect first try, but like a, I would give this like a, a six or a seven for the first try not too bad for the first try there. Okay, now we're gonna do into the back loops here. We're gonna start our stem and we're just gonna make it super long. So, uh, what do I want you to crochet? Tegan, I want you, I mean, make a goblin. Always make a goblin. <laughs> Real, William Daffodil, <laughs> that's funny. Uh, stitched, yeah, Stitched is a, uh, a board game that I play, that I made. Um, okay. All right, so now we've got our six. Okay, now now's our next part where we want to add our stem here to the bottom of these loops. So. We have these back, or these front loops only from round one of our uh, of our flower center, and we want to find those six front loops only. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So this will be our first one. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our green yarn, toss our threads to the side. We're gonna grab our green yarn, and just like how we started our daffodil, uh, our I mean our center here, I mean our sorry, our petals is we're going to make a slip knot like this and we're going to pull this slip knot through that first back front loop only from round one so like this pull this slip knot through like this and then we're going to chain one and then starting into the same stitch that you just pulled through we're gonna single crochet into all of these unused front loops only from the last round. There should be six total. So we're gonna just single crochet in all of them. Okay, so starting in the same one that we just did it, worked into right there. And as I go around, I'm actually gonna work around this tail end just so it gets locked into place and we don't have to worry about it. So we're just gonna go one, I'll pull it a little tighter now. And here's our second one, oops, maybe two here is there we go three here's four a little tighter this one's gonna be five and then our last one gonna be right here ah Yikes, like that. Six. All right, so there's six single crochets around in the magic loop, or, or in that 
those back loops only. I'm gonna cut this tail end, we don't need it. Just gonna get in our way. And now we're going to just start doing our stem. So we're gonna find that first single crochet that we made right here and single crochet into it. And I'm just gonna continue working single crochets into all of these stitches. So now we have just like a long period of just doing single crochets until we have it um, as long as we want our stem to be. Our stem, by the way, uh, we want it to be at least nine inches long. The good news is that we have like our wire already cut so I can kind of just start to measure that and see how long how much longer we need to crochet and stuff. But let me just finish this last, this round right here. But however many rounds this is, is gonna depend on how long, like how tightly you crochet basically. So it might change. But here's our wire. It's gonna go into here like this. So we wanna cover this wire completely all the way up. So it's gonna just, we're just gonna keep crocheting like a long tube all the way up the wire like that and while i'm doing that we're all just going to chill and hang out i'm going to go ahead and just pull our petals up like this so that they kind of like aren't in our way kind of you know what's funny this kind of does look like a it's a little looks like a tulip even though i know it's not and i keep saying it is it's not a tulip oh, it looks really good i'm really proud of that and the fact that there's no sewing again. I did it again with like no sewing. Mm. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool, pretty cool. All right. I love making no sew patterns. That's one of my, <laughs> it's one of my favorites. Okay, now we're just gonna keep crocheting around. And let me bring up, I'm gonna try to bring up, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to, but I'm gonna try to bring up the email from Mr. Come on. Why are you doing it like this? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's because it's not downloaded. Okay, never mind. I won't be doing that. computer or my iPad's having a stonk right now. All right. It's not the tulip. Do I keep saying tulip? Man, I have a hard time not saying that. Okay, I need to loosen my stitches also. Oh my gosh, look, this is how tightly I'm crocheting. I'm pulling my crochet hook out of its handle. Fix that. you know you're crocheting with too much tension <laughs> you're pulling your cr crochet hook out of its handle that just that very rarely happens to me too all right we just have a lot of just single crochets to do now I should do a peony sometimes. Ooh, what, is, what does a peony look like? Let's look up a picture of a peony. Peony? Ooh, yeah, that's cool. Oh man, I don't even know how I do that. It's like basically a pom-pom. Oh, that's interesting. That might be a very interesting flower to make next time. Uh, you should suggest that in the form, actually, Ivy. Uh, by the way, enter to win this. Enter to win this. It's in the uh, d comments or in the description. All you have to do is just enter a form, and I'm going to choose a winner at the end, and, and then I'm going to ship them a, a new Jimbo pin. It's super cute. Wow, Jimbo's being such a good boy right now. Such a good boy. What a good boy. 
Um, and hey, like this video. If this video gets 200 likes, we're gonna do another giveaway next live stream. So you should definitely like this video. Yeah, my iPad can't keep up. <laughs> I went ahead and liked this video on my account too. To help us get there. All right. gonna love this she's just she has like a collection now she's got let's see she's got a sunflower a tulip a daisy a rose and now she'll have a daffodil that's gonna be five flowers that's pretty good that's like a whole bouquet all good a, a river or Akari, I don't know which one's which right now. I think Akari is sleeping though, so it's probably River. Yes, you're right. I should I should avoid mentioning the beast's name. J I M B O J I M B O J I M B O and Jimbo was his name. He didn't hear me. So we just got a long, long crochet here of just meow, 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 around and around. Um, hey, who else is it super duper excited for the new Zelda game? Because I am. I'm hoping that they mess up and they accidentally like send it to me early so I have it here today because I want it. I want to play it so bad. I want to play. I'm so excited for the new Zelda. Anybody else? Anybody else like crazy excited for it? Ooh, Twiz's favorite flowers are lilies. I like that. Ooh. Wow. I don't have any bones left. I popped them all out. Um. Oh, did we get a good cute stretch? Oh my god. Okay, quick Jimbo break. I'll keep crocheting, but. Quick cat break. Because, I mean, look at that thing. Oh my god. He doesn't even know. He has no idea that we're just, like, staring at him. Just loving his beautiful little face oh what a baby wow all right oh i want to just go over there and pet him so bad but i can't just go pet him he'll wake up Oh, you can do that? Cooper, I didn't know you could preload it if you had to download it. What? I bought it physical because I was like, you know what? I want it physical because I can't put all that data on my Switch again. Like, my Switch is like out of data. Hardcore out of data. I have so many, so many games on there. Ooh, poinsettia flowers. Maybe I'll do a poinsettia for nearer to Christmas. Was Bingo the name of the dog? Or the f oh, Bingo was his name of? There was a farmer who went to town and Bingo was his name. I think the farmer's name was Bingo. I don't know, anybody, anybody uh, a Bingo enthusiast out there? Who knows? <laughs> 
That would be really cute, Ivy. I might actually have to do that. A bouquet of crocheted and knit flowers. That'd be really cute. I definitely should have a crocheted boutonniere. Or a knit boutonniere. Maybe Jules will knit me a flower for my boutonniere and I'll crochet her a bouquet. That'd be cute. That would be cute. Alright, I think we're about a fourth, a third or a fourth of the way done with all these single crochets that we just need to keep doing. Should have upped this to like half double crochets or something. Bingo, the the song uh, note, the song that goes like, um, B I N G O, B I N G O, B I N G O, and Bingo. What's his name? Oh, there was a farmer went to town, and Bingo was his name. Oh. So we're trying to figure out who's the name, whose name is Bingo in that story. I think it's the farmer's name is Bingo though. It's interesting that we basically don't need any stuffing at all for this pattern. It's kind of cool. Uh oh. Oh, Jimbo has gone. Oh, bummer. Well, it was nice while it lasted. Ooh, the dog's name is Bingo. We were wrong. By we, I mean me. Me was wrong. Hey, look at that. We're like more than halfway. And look, it holds its shape too. So we don't have to worry about it bending because I was kind of worried about this being too thin, but it looks like it holds its shape pretty well. Oh my gosh, my mom is going to love this so much. I'm so excited to give it to her. Yeah, she's going to adore this. Wow. Okay, that's okay. That's that's pretty cool, guys. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I'm, I'm you know, you know. Pat myself on the back. I, I'm, I'm proud of this so far. Fix our crochet hook. I need to glue this crochet hook back in. Does Mike Wazowski wink or blink? I guess he winks, right? A wink is just half a blink. Or is a wink just, hmm. Is a wink just a blink for one eye? I guess so. So yeah, he just winks. Man, you're messing with me, man. Does Lightning McQueen have car insurance or life insurance? Ooh, probably life insurance. Do they, well, do they consider themselves cars? I guess they probably do, right? Man, you're trying to put too much logic into a Pixar movies. What made me want to start crocheting? I, you know, I think what made me want to start crocheting was in high school I just got like really crafty in general and there was a I saw something like an amigurumi thing crocheted online and I was like oh my god you're telling me you can like make toys out of like yarn how the heck what how, that doesn't make any sense and I just thought it was like the coolest idea that I can make a toy with yarn and yeah I think I think that's what made me want to start is just the idea that I could make whatever I wanted out of yarn was just such a cool idea Man, this crochet hook is biting us though feel the crochet hook being pulled out one stitch at a time funny so after this stream is over I think what I'm gonna do I mean I'll go get dinner and stuff I need to edit another video tonight but then while that video is exporting I think I'll try to record the video tutorial for this daffodil while it's fresh in my brain so that way like I can have another video tutorial by the way this is going to be um an alternative pattern for the seasonal crochet kit so if you were thinking about buying a seasonal crochet kit and pre-ordering it now is the chance to do so and there's another plea 
uh, yeah, if you want to get a seasonal crochet kit, it's now or never. Uh, you get a discount right now, and if you use the code HOOKED at the end, you'll get a discount, uh, a free shipping discount. So that's kind of cool. And uh, if you have a membership level account, by the way, even if you just want to like create a free trial and for a membership, you'll get an additional 5% off. So you get the way to get it cheapest, uh, the seasonal kit for cheap is you get a membership level account, just get the free trial. Um, uh, and then go to the listing for the seasonal crochet kit, purchase the kit and use the code hooked and you'll get 10% off of the, the kit and you'll get free shipping. It's the cheapest way to get the kit. Um, but this is actually gonna be one of all our alternative patterns for the kit. So you could crochet this instead of one of the other patterns. Honestly, you could probably crochet this in addition to all the other patterns because it kind of comes with way more yarn than you need. But, you know, I, I call them alternative patterns just in case you don't have enough yarn. But yeah, thank you, Cooper. Thank you for posting that. Yeah, pre-order seasonal kit today. But what is the mystery pattern? Well, you're gonna have to wait to find out. Uh, it's not what you guys think though. I'll tell you that much. No one's even gotten close to guessing it. All right, let's see how far we are. I'm, I'm starting to hope that you guys aren't disappointed with what the last pattern is because it's so different than the rest of them. And everybody's like guessing things that are actually better ideas. <laughs> not better, but like, you know, like different. And I'm like, oh, that's actually a really good idea. Almost there. Almost there. Only, only how much longer to go. Pretty good. I really, someone said a watering can would be really fun to make. Uh, for the photosynthesis kit and I think that's a really really fun idea so I actually do want to try making water in can at least like a tiny one with like blue yarn that can be like pulled out of the water in can I think that would be cute you won't find out the mystery pattern until near the end of June that's when it's gonna come out like right near the end of the kit uh, right right near the end of the season like it'll be like the last pattern that comes out for the season so probably like I think like June 20th is when I have it planned. I haven't uh, finished it yet, so it's not like recorded or anything. But it's it's right there. I can see it right there. Ooh, you want to crochet Gil? That is a tutorial on the site. That's actually Tegan Gil, uh, the the little mushroom man, um, which is I just saw him right here this little dude uh he's actually he is a pattern on the website and is actually also a character in stitched so this is actually a playable character in stitched which is kind of fun i call them fungaloids in stitched uh they have the ability to heal instead of um instead of defending the, your character you can actually instead heal yourself or another character which is kind of cool Oh, we should check how many people have entered the giveaway, by the way. I have a feeling not that many people have entered the giveaway, so. If you want to enter it, you probably have a pretty, pretty good chance of winning. But let's find out. Yeah, only like 30 responses so far. Not that many, which is not a bad thing. It just means that you have a higher chance to win. Is it grass? Yeah, we're just crocheting grass. No, we're crocheting grass during the bonsai tree, actually. So grass is one of the patterns, but can I crochet a blossom or a cloud? I mean, I could. I don't really know what a blossom is. What is a blossom? 
All I th like blossoms are just like. Let's see what they have. Oh, like a cherry blossom. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, that's an easy one. I could easily crochet a cherry blossom. And then a cloud. I could crochet a cloud, but I honestly think what's even better than crocheting cloud is just using stuffing as clouds because they're basically clouds. And you can even put like LEDs in the center of stuffing and then they light up like clouds and you can make them look like thunderstorms and stuff that way. It's a cool move. so close and then we'll make the oh that looks great and then we'll make the uh the leaf the leaf actually that we're gonna make for this is gonna be the same as the tulip leaf so if you are curious about how i'm gonna be making that leaf that's gonna be how i'm gonna make it <laughs> Cast Lou, thank you. Wait till you hear me do my, my. Wait till you hear me rap. Then you'll be like, "Wow, that guy can do it all." <laughs> it's true though. I have a rap for the cats. That's so good. It's like, it's like really good. I'll give you a. I'll give you a sample. It's when there's a verse that's all about Phoebe, and she goes. Yo, my name Peepee, when nobody see me, I crawl up and lie on your lap. I'm taking a nap until something scared me, then crap. I'm over there, show you my belly and scratch. I'm over there, then over here. I always be running with nothing to fear. You better be chiller, you better stick there, because my claws always sharp and my legs always sheer. <laughs> it's one of my favorites. I, it's so long, too. It's like legitimately a four-minute rap <laughs> that, I did, that I did for my cats. Right, Jimbo? Yeah, it's technically called the Jimbo Wrap. It starts with Jimbo wrapping and it goes like, Spreading eagle, lick my butthole on your bed. <laughs> it's a very good rap. I am proud of it. Yeah, Jimbo knows his, Jimbo knows. Jimbo knows when, when to to get in on that flow. Yeah, basically cat calling, that's right. Whenever I'm driving and I don't like the music that's on, I'll turn the music off and I'll just try to write more verses for my cat rap. <laughs> so it's so long now. I've been working on a new verse that's like, my name's Jiminy Cricket. Don't want you to miss it. Uh, get yourself a ticket and into this thicket. Something like that. I like the idea of calling his fur a thicket because it's, and, and it kind of rhymes with cricket. <laughs> would your, would Jimbo like a playmate maybe? <laughs> Dude, Cooper, you didn't use the code hooked? You don't even need the code, honestly, Cooper. I'm going to I'm going to give you a a rebate on that, my dude. I'll email you after this. Because you deserve you deserve some freebies there. Oh my gosh, can I get that in there already? How much longer do I have? It's only really like three more rounds. I mean, one, two, three. Yeah, three more rounds should get me over the edge of that. So we're almost there. Wreck your catch up with the class you never cut. Getting boogers on your walls and on your rugs that chew. Yeah, perfect. Good job, buddy. Meowing at the door that you was keeping shut. Yo, that's my homie in the ticket, MC Peanut. Mr. Rome. There you go, bud. Yeah. 
It's time. It is time for Jimbo to be alive and noisy. Bud, no. You're doing that thing that you do. We don't want this yarn covered in cat spit, please. I don't want this yarn covered in cat spit, please. I'm sorry. I just don't want it. I don't think, I don't think that my mom wants their daffodil covered in cat spit. It just feels like something they wouldn't want. How much longer? We're almost there. Hey, stop. Stop. It's going right up here. Look at this. He cat spit it all over it. <laughs> you're not sorry. No, you're not. You're lying. Uh, was Were pipe cleaners used? No. Let me show you how to do pipe cleaner option, by the way. Um, I think I'll do one more round here because I just want it just barely to fit that in there. So one more round should get us there. And then I'll show you how to use pipe cleaners instead of the wire if you want to use pipe cleaners. Or if you don't have the wire at hand. Yes, I should do a box that can keep the yarn away from Jumbo. Especially during these streams. Okay, we're doing six more single crochets here. And then we got the leaf and then we'll be done. Four, five, six, and let's do one for good luck. That's pretty good. One more, one more test of the wire. What was that? I think he wants pets. The wire's being difficult with me. Try it from the bottom. Are you gonna fall asleep there now? You're supposed to sleep in your in your throne, my dude. I have that throne just for you. That. And maybe I'll do a couple more stitches just because I'm a little bit like low key afraid that it pokes at the bottom of the end and we don't really want that. So we'll do one more round of stitches. I'm not even gonna remove the pipe cleaner though. Or not the pipe cleaner, the wire. Probably should have removed the pipe cleaner or the wire. <laughs> it's hard to work around. Keeps poking me in the fingies. Just a few more. Just so I can actually absolutely cover the end. Yeah, okay, that's good. We're well, gonna cut the yarn. I'm just gonna use that to sew it on. I'm also gonna cut off all this Jimbo spit, because gross. And we're gonna sew it closed. Okay, real quick though, pipe cleaner info. Okay, so if you wanna use pipe cleaners instead of the wire, you got pipe cleaners like this, First off, you might want to cut them into shape. You also want to use pipe cleaners that are um, like probably the same color as your uh, the stem. So you probably want to use green, but I'm, I just got the yellow ones just at hand. And all you want to do is you just want to use at least three, maybe even four of these pipe cleaners together. And you just want to kind of twist them together like this. And just keep twisting them 
and this will shorten the pipe cleaners for sure but it'll also like triple the strength and then you can use them instead of your wire like that and then these should hold it up but yeah you're gonna need like probably three pipe cleaners to keep that to keep it upright um, so there is my uh, my info about pipe cleaners Okay, and then the last thing we want to do, just sew this closed, and then we'll start work on the leaf. The leaf is going to be made the same as the tulip though, so I actually already have that pattern. So we're going to go off of that. Oh boy. Let's bring that pattern back up. Okay. I'm gonna sew this closed. When I sew things closed, by the way, I just work a needle into the front loops of all the loops around like this. And then I just pull it closed like that. Make sure that wire's in there. Pull it nice and tight. And then I go right down the center and then out through somewhere on the side. I'm going to try to like hide that end in a little bit too while I go like that. Okay. All right. Last thing that we want to do is make a leaf for daffodil almost called it a tulip again but actually even before that i'm gonna try to like let's see if we can get this thing standing up right like that oh that's great oh that looks super good Okay, so next we want our leaf and we just want the leaf to be like connected to the bottom there. So we'll go ahead and put this to the side a little bit. Actually, let's put it right over here and we'll get working on the leaf. Okay. Yes, I should have a drone program to follow Jimbo, absolutely. Oh, thanks, Cass. Thank you for joining. Okay. We're going to go down to... So I think the leaves are done pretty much the same way. Hey, you don't need to be mean. Um, let me pull up a picture of a tulip first because I want to see how the leaf of the tulip is and then compare it. Yeah, okay, that looks pretty leafy. Okay, and then the daffodil. A leaf of a daffodil is yeah they're very similar very similar okay yeah we can use this leaf then all right so for the leaf it's going to be made the same way as our tulip so we're going to create a slip knot and we're going to chain 21 you hear that jumbo 21 one two three don't distract me four five six seven eight nine ten more yarn Hold on, bud. 11, 12, 13, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and then slip stitch all the way down. Okay. Jimbo, Jimbo, Jimbo. What? Oh my goodness. My dude. Hold on. We're almost done. Once we're done, I can hang out with you. We can play. We can 
cuddle, whatever the heck you want. We can beat up Phoebe. No, we can't beat up Phoebe. No, I was a joke. No beating up Phoebe. The other day I, I closed the door because I was editing a video and when I opened the door, I heard Jimbo run up from downstairs because he was like, oh, oh, the door's open. And he was covered in spit because Phoebe had like given him a full bath all the way. Like he was, he was so wet. It was gross, but it was also kind of really cute. Oh, Sarah says I gotta pet you. Do you wanna get pet? All right, we can, do, we can do some pets real quick. All right, that's our slip stitches down for the leaf. Hold on, buddy. Hi, hi, hi. Oh, this is all he wants, always, to be picked up and pet. Here, we'll, we'll, let, we'll let the crew see you and say hi. He just wants lick. Yes, okay. And now he's just gonna bite my finger for a while. Sometimes he just like, tries to swallow my finger, it's so annoying. <laughs> say hi. Say hi to the chat. No. What? You hear him purring? He's like always purring. Yeah, yeah you are. Okay, weirdo. Okay, we'll take this cat. Put it here. You have gotten your pets. More. He's just a baby. You're just a baby. You hear that? They think you're a baby. I tend to agree. I think you are also a baby. Relax. Relax. Don't bite. Hey, stop. No. Okay. Oh my god, look at all this fur now. You got fur everywhere, bud. It's like you're covered in her or something. Ooh, Akari says that I'm going to hang up first. Well, we'll see about that. Hi, Desiree. How are you? Um, okay, we're chain one. And we're going to, in the first stitch, single crochet one. And half double crochet one. Oopsies. Is that the right spot for it? Um, yeah, actually... I actually want to just, I don't think we need to turn. I think that's a mess up from the last round. Um, by the way, uh, Cooper, don't worry about writing down this part of the pattern because I'm just using the exact same pattern from the tulip. So you don't really need to worry about it too much. So I chained one and again, what was that? It was single crochet one and then half double crochet one into the first one like that. Okay, and then double crochet one to the next. I want to make a system so that you guys can play with Jimbo while I'm crocheting. See you later, Tegan. Thanks for joining. It's a hard day. I'm sorry you're having a hard day, Desiree. Why, why are you having a hard day? Oh, I'm so sorry, Desiree. That is a really hard day. I'm sorry. I hope you I hope you have I hope your day turns out better. I, I'm really sorry that happened. Triple crochet. Then another triple. Oh man, dude, AJ, that's actually wild. What grade are you in? That's like, 
Isn't that like super duper illegal? <laughs> I, I always assumed that was like really illegal, especially like smoke at school. Yo, Infinite, how are you? How are you doing? What you up to? What you been doing today? Hope you're having a good day. We want nine of these. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. And one more will be nine. And then six half double crochets. I do think actually the leaf will be slightly different because it looks like these, the leaf of a tulip is like kind of a little softer of an edge than the leaf of a daffodil. Or I mean, the leaf of a tulip is a slightly sharper edge than the leaf of a daffodil. So I think we will be changing the very tip of this, but the majority of it's gonna be the same. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Eighth grade. Oh yeah, that's definitely illegal. They should definitely not be smoking in class at in eighth grade. That's crazy. One, two, three, four, five. Honestly, they shouldn't be doing that in general. That's just honestly, that's just really dumb. Uh, don't smoke, guys. It's stupid. Uh, okay, one. Wait, uh, hold on. Triple, triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then in the edge, it wants me to do a single crochet two and then mini pico two. So I think I'm just gonna do single crochet four. Let's try that. And so we don't have to do the mini pico in between because I don't think this is a, supposed to be as pointy. And four like that. Because it's a little bit softer of a leaf for a tulip. It looked like in the pictures, but I mean for a daffodil, let's see. Uh, no, no, they still got tips. Okay, we're gonna just do the same thing then. One, two, so we're doing two singles in the end. One, two, River, I, uh, I don't wanna guess your age, really. Like, I don't think we should be talking, like, mentioning ages in the chat, just like, for safety reasons. But I'll guess what grade you're in. I think you're in, I think you're in middle school and your sister is in elementary school. That's what I think. But honestly, I have no, I have no idea. I'm, that's just like, I'm just guessing off of literally no information. Okay, so now I'm going to half double crochet down. I'm gonna work into the back loops here of our other stitches as I work my way down. So that way it creates like a line in between the leaf. One, two. And I'm guessing we just need to do the same thing down, right? So, yeah. <laughs> All right, Racy Rice, Racy Recipe says, Oh, that's cute. You're crocheting a chair cover for your husband. That's so sweet of you. I need to crochet a chair cover, actually. Me and Jules were talking about that. I was like, the cats have been completely ruining the um, our couch. So I just want to crochet like an entire couch comforter, basically, that goes at the very least like over the um, armrests. And Jules is like, mm, I don't know. I'm like, I'm just going to do it. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's supposed to be a double. So double up there. 1.30 a.m. in the UK. Oh my gosh, that's so late. We're, we're almost done here. So just hang in there. Uh, and hey, make sure to enter that giveaway. Uh, this is going to be like your probably second to last chance. Because um, after this, we're going to be choosing a winner. Once I'm done sewing our leaf on. 
This is looking a little weird, but it's not that bad. Especially because I'm going to like kind of, I'm going to kind of like close it in like this so that it looks more like a, a leaf, but we'll see. Oh, Julie, your new set of hooks just came in. That's cool. Wait, how many of these am I supposed to do? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then two triple crochets. Two, three, one, two, three, then a double, one, two, and then a half double and a single crochet in the same stitch. One, and the same stitch, single crochet one, and then I'm gonna go ahead, I'm just gonna go ahead and slip stitch into that last one also. Uh, which is something I should probably fix in that pattern, but that looks good. Okay, so there's our leaf. It bothers me that it goes like this. You can see where the decreasing like changes. So I might have to like tweak that a little bit, but that's our leaf. We're gonna, I'm just gonna pull it all the way through and pull it nice and tight. And then I'm gonna use these two ends to sew it onto our Daffodil's uh, stem. See, so notice how I'm like kind of squishing it and like stretching it so that maybe, hopefully, that the places where the increasing and decreasing goes, it kind of makes it more subtle. Yeah, that worked actually. Check that out. There's our leaf. I'm going to take a picture. By the way, sometimes I need both my hands for pictures. So what I have to do is I'll hold it out like this and I'll press it with my nose to take the picture, which is so silly, but I need more hands. Okay. Let's sew this on. And I think we want to sew this on like basically like down here somewhere like that I might actually sew it I'll try to sew it on so it like is more like it holds its shape maybe a little bit better like this I don't know yeah so we basically we want it sewn on like like that so it kind of like funnels it down so okay so let's go ahead and go this round is good. One, two. Um, go across around this end. Go into that same stitch one two over oh I lost the end there And I'm just gonna come out somewhere on the outside like that. Okay, so that gives that part of the leaf sewn on. Now I wanna sew this other part on and I'm actually gonna connect it a little bit higher up on it so that it holds the leaf up a little bit more. So we're gonna go in through there, in through there out through the same stitch so we have something to double knot to. We're almost done. 
Uh, this live stream went so fast, in my opinion. It's pretty good, though. Yeah, I like it. Okay. I mean, I know we've been going for two and a half hours, but it feels like we're still, like, just starting the live stream. Which means that I had a lot of fun. <laughs> okay, we'll cut it right there. I'm gonna use the back of my needle. It's so funny, whenever these live streams, whenever I'm done with the live streams, I'm always like, wow, that flew by. Like, man, I wanna do that again, like, now. <laughs> I always, like, wanna just keep on going. But I can't do that. I gotta come out with more patterns. Okay, let's see. Just trying to get that tulip, or that leaf up a little bit more. Like that. Oh, that's great. Oh my gosh, that's so good, you guys. Look at that. Uh, let's go ahead. I'm going to try to fix this, though. There we go. Just try to get it a little bit over. Let's fix the petals. Um, I want this in the back. In the front. Nice. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Okay. Turn the petals out a little bit. Now, I think the next draft, when I do the petals the other way around, so they're, so these are on the outside, it'll look a little bit cleaner, but honestly, for a first draft, live, I am not complaining. This is great. That is super cool. I'm so proud of that. Okay, look at that, you guys. I just want this to like stay up more. It's not bad, that's pretty good. All right. And that's the stream, I guess. Oh wait, duh, we need to do a giveaway. All right. Sorry, I'm just reading the chat. Okay. Uh, so this is going to be a pretty awesome gift for my mom. I'm like really excited. Oh my God, Curious Snail, I totally missed your tip. Thank you so much for your support. I'm going to add a few pom-poms to the background for you. I'm going to add these guys to the background. Um, I'm so sorry I didn't see that until now. My bad, my bad big time. That's pretty great. Oh, I can't, I'm gonna go make another one of these like tonight. Oh boy, that's so cool. All right, last thing we wanna do today, giveaway, enter now or forever hold your fleece. Uh, enter in the in the description. You have you have less than a minute to enter the giveaway. If you want to try to win that, uh, our our Jimbo pin, Pinjo Jim. And we're gonna go in here. Nice, forty two. Good job, guys. Um, all right. Oh, Akari, that's so cool. Maybe one day. We'll see. Hopefully, by the time you're in the job market, uh, Club Crochet's still around. <laughs> uh, I actually didn't have to redo that first part. I, I made it work, uh, Hill, Hill Simp. Okay. Yes, I made my mom an unripe demogorgon. That's true. Yes, it's a demogorgon uh, that's that's just just now growing, almost ready to uh, eat her entire face off. Oh, that's so freaking cool! Are you kidding me? No sewing? Well, I mean, this was sewn on, but like, come on! Like, oh yeah. All right. 43, someone made it in last second. Good job. Turning off the responses for the giveaway. And we're gonna do a random number generator. Hold on, Jimbo. 
Hold on. Okay. So, hold on, buddy. We need to choose a winner. Do you want to help choose a winner? Okay, we've we have a winner chosen. Number 20. Yes, hold on. You can say it out loud. Oh, they're going to love this. Yes. Hold on. Oh. Come on, Jimbo. You can say the winner out loud, okay? And the winner of our giveaway is Drum roll, please. Go on, drum. Drum. There, drum on my back. And the winner is Emerald Turtle! Say congratulations. Or bite me in the face. Whatever works for you, bud. Yeah. Congratulations, Emerald Turtle! You won! I, I don't know if you're still in the chat, but I hope you're still here. Wow, Jimbo's really happy for you. Yeah, tell him. Your turn. Okay, great job. Congratulations! If you're in the chat, say hello. If not, that's all right too. Oh, there you are! Yay! Congratulations, Emerald Turtle! I'm gonna be uh, sending you an email after this to find out where to ship your um, your Jimbo pin to. By the way, these are also in the shop, so if you want to buy a Jimbo pin, uh, they're available. You also get a discount if you have a membership, so... <coughs> okay, okay, okay. Jimbo's like, I need to play with him. Okay, so we're gonna play with him. Thank you guys so much for joining. Um, I'm gonna get this pattern onto the website ASA freaking P. Uh, if you want to find it, it'll be available at clubcrochet.com slash flower. Uh, we're probably going to have it up as a, uh, like a test pattern first on the mem for members exclusive. And then after that, we're going to put it up online. So yeah, just be a little patient with me, but I'll try to get this up onto the website ASAP. Also, if you want to check out our sunflower pattern, it's out now, uh, freshly, hold on. I need to do some last things. Fresh, freshly picked um, <laughs> our sunflower pattern is out on the website now um, I'm revamping a few patterns for our uh, for our photosynthesis kit so check that out you can find this one also at clubcrucia.com slash flower uh, I have links to like all the flowers there uh, and last thing uh, we're gonna oh and we're gonna be crocheting this next week so next Thursday 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, we're going to be doing a crochet along for our sunflower. So join that. Make sure to like and subscribe down below so you don't miss it when we go live next week. Um, anything else, Jimbo? Okay, Jimbo says, uh, oh, that's right. Uh, yes, seasonal kit. That's what he was saying, right? Yeah. If you want to get, oopsies, there we go. If you want to get our brand new seasonal crochet kit, it's available now for pre-order. Uh, it's your last chance to get that discount again. You can find it at clubcrochet.com slash photosynthesis. Links in the description. Highly recommended. Purchase it now while you can. And use the code HOOKED, H-O-O-K-E-D, at checkout, and you'll get free shipping on your kit. So there is your little spiel. All right, guys. Thanks again. I'll see you next Thursday. Uh, pasta la pizza. Happy hooking and... Oh my god, stop. No, you hang up first. Oh my gosh, stop. Oh my gosh, no, you hang up first, Jimbo. No, you. No, you. You hang up first. Okay. Jimbo says you hang up first. Yeah, you hang up first. Say it. Good job. <laughs> You're welcome. All right, bye everybody. Hey, hi, you wanna play? What do you wanna do, do you wanna play or do you want pets? All right, well, we'll do a little bit of both. Bye.